Hello everyone, a new AGPU setup. Uh, I'm uh, replacing uh, my Core X because I need it for work and I'm using now a mini edit link UT 3G USB 4. With this new setup I'm going to use a, a new case, same RTX 4070 Super will be located and I will uh, use a new PSU because I was trying to use a very old PSU that I, have, uh, I had lying around uh, which, uh, which is an Enermax but that PSU was not working properly so I needed to replace it with a new PSU it is a little bit overkill because I'm using right now an uh, NZXT uh, C850 ATX 3.1 uh, it is an 850 watt uh, 850 watt it is a little bit overkill but uh, it uh, delivers stable performance uh, and it is quite good that uh, the, the new setup is uh, the, this one I didn't even make a video uh, of uh, the how I built the, this setup uh, there is the same RTX 4070 Super uh, connected to uh, the AGPU Mini Edit Link UT3G using a PC4 riser from Thermaltake and everything is powered up by uh, the uh, new PSU, the, the NZXT uh, SC850. In this video, I am going to show you uh, the improvement in 3D Mark. So the DT link provide more bandwidth and this improve performance and frame rate stability in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. A quick comparison between uh, the uh, correction, there is a correction on the right and uh, the uh, EDT link uh, UT 3G uh, USB 4. Uh, usually there is uh, in synthetic benchmark, 3D mark, for example Port Royal, there is an improvement between 0, negligible, and 9-10%. Uh, in Port Royal uh, I managed to get an improvement of 5-4.7%. In uh, Time Spy for the Gavi score uh, an improvement of 3%, between 3% and 3.7%. In uh, Speedway is uh, negligible because it is only 1.5%. Uh, the same is still Nomad, there is not uh, an improvement. Uh, the same on still Nomad Vulcan, the other one was DirectX uh, 12. Uh, then uh, comparison in Fire Strike, where there is the biggest improvement 7% uh, and 7.9%. Around 7% in first strike. In first strike extreme, when you increase uh, the load on the GPU, the, the com, the, because this is related to a 4040p, uh, 1440p test, uh, the increase in performance is uh, less, around 3%, 4%. Uh, in first strike also. Uh, the improvement is only a little, only 1% maximum. Uh, in an A-Trade, graphics score 5%, between 5 and 9%. This is the biggest improvement uh, that uh, happened. And in the end, wildlife, which is not uh, a very big improvement. Anyway, uh, in uh, we are going to see in right now uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and there there is the biggest improvement in stability, frame rate stability and performance uh, because in uh, Dogtown there is an improvement around uh, more than 10, 10 frames per second 10 frames per second and even stable so it is uh, a very huge improvement in this uh, situation and in a real world uh, game test, not in a synthetic benchmark like this. So we are going to watch now a little bit of Cyberpunk. Now some Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay and uh, a quick comparison between uh, the edit 
T-Link eGPU and the Razer Corex eGPU. Quick test in Cyberpunk. There's a lot of performance improvement, I think. We will see immediately. Going down. The settings, graphic settings are here. Ray tracing light, medium. No path tracing. And these are all the other settings. Let's go. It was around 90 FPS. We are uh, <laughs> more than 20 FPS here. And my destroyed car is here. I don't want this destroyed car. Okay. I have a new car. 
go quickly around uh, this area, then we go to the town where the performance was between 90 fps maximum and uh, around 65, 65, 67 fps very quickly here uh, and saving when it's saved the frames drop a lot <laughs> Another 30 fps here we are at uh, 2k resolution 1440p go back the gpu is around 94 percent utilization Right now the performance are quite good. Yay! Accident. Let's check here in this area because I know that this place uh, where there are some cars, uh, the performance can uh, drop right now it is stable more than 100 fps 99, 96 140, 120 26 let's go back and uh, we go home and then we go to talk town and we check very quickly the performance in dog town and now it is go go going very well yeah 96 uh, Almost home. Let's go to the town. Right here. Where should I the performance drops? I don't think so much. Eh? No, we are around between 90 and 100. Uh, let's get the car. Let's check here, this is the worst uh, 86, that was around 67, with the correction, here 95, 100, 95, there was dropping around 60, it is going very well, they are more than 60, from, more than uh, 20 frames per second better between 10 and 20 in per second better now we go inside here which is very bad also
So th there is performance improvement. Uh, around 80 frames per second. Not bad. And saving. Go. Changing with the new AGPU setup, uh, the performance, uh, there is a enough uh, performance improvement between 10 and 20 FPS. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.